What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, the truck's been turbo for about, about a year. So I posted, uh, I think November 10th of 24 of the truck actually getting, uh, with the turbo kit installed and it took me forever to, um, get the truck actually tuned. Cause I was just having issues inside, but that's whatever. And then we, you know, we swapped out the intake and then we got everything powder coated. So everything looks pretty and nice. So I guess we'll go over like a year later, like what's going on? What's the build? Like, how is it? How is she doing? Uh, hopefully, you know, not trying to drink anything, but we'll, you know, go from there. So I think that's what we're gonna go over today. And then we got all the updates to the interior, which we want to go get powder coated and sent out soon. So I've been coordinating with that and, uh, let's go through. So I know that people don't know about the truck and obviously, you know, I'm not a big time person on here. I just like making content and it helps, you know, me document my stuff and be able to, to show people, you know, it's, it, it's kind of cool. So what this kit is, it's a Huron speed, um, T six, uh, turbo kit. It's everything. It's their fuel system set up. Uh, it's their, uh, cold side, hot side, literally the whole kit. It came with fuel lines, even though I swapped out for the fuel lines that they provided and I got some black ones, but it's still, still the same stuff. Uh, regulator that's that's all part of this so this is a 80 millimeter uh, i guess inlet this is an 80 96 so i know the back housing is a 96 millimeter um came with the uh version two i want to say this is like a i don't know if this is a 52 i'll actually have to get the actual information on that but it's got a 4,000 stall which is compensating for the cam and helping it get up and go but it doesn't really help it up top because I'm running out of gear pretty quick. I got 390 gear, so top of third because of the converter and the gear ratio um, with, you know, a little bit of slip here and there um, and loss, you know, I can only do like 125, 130 mile an hour, which is fine. But going to the track, I am actually hitting a uh, rev limiter in third gear. So I do have to lock the converter and get them to go. Uh, highly high ram. So when I originally did the turbo kit, I didn't actually have the Holly High Ram on it. I had the Trailblazer SS intake, and uh, as a gift, family got that for me. And then I had it sent out and got powder coated, which is super, super nice. And you know, it's an awesome unit. And it helps with RPM, because truck kind of sits uh, higher in the RPM, especially with the gearing. But yeah, this, this is what it looks like. A year later, you know, you had to cut through the headlight housing to get the actual piping to fit through it's tight don't get me wrong but kit is awesome year later still cruising i have ac even though it's not set up because i haven't put uh, freon in it i'm gonna get to show you later this is gonna be an actual cold start you know the you know turbo kit all looks beautiful again i've driven this thing in the rain so this has seen all sorts of temperature and weather and it's been been performing this motor to be honest scares me uh not for horsepower wise because i mean it does make some power and it, it's fun to drive but oil pressure sits at like 20 psi at idle and wide open goes to like 50 so it's like it's always been like that but i still still worries me and this motor is i think about six or seven years old now and it's seen its fair share of rpm and <laughs> beats uh same engine when it was naturally aspirated. And then all I did was add boost. So this is a, the whole setup. When I originally had the motor built or built the motor, I kind of had boost in my mind, but I didn't really do it perfectly optimal, which is fine because it works. So it's a 235, 243 cam by ComCam. It's like 11 to one or 11 and a half to one compression. It's on E85, stock heads, stock uh, 799 heads. Uh, bottom end is forged other than the crank. So I guess just pistons and rods and it's studded throughout. So this is the unit. You know, the old hog. I like it in 0.5. I don't know how the content's gonna be, but 0.5, dude, I get to see like the whole truck and it, it just fits. Oh, we're doing this from now on. Every single time.